Good news, there's foods that can kill cancer stem cells. Our immune system is more powerful than we ever thought. So powerful, in fact, that if we had cancer, our immune system can wipe it out even if the cancer spreads. Dr. William Lee is a renowned physician, scientist, and best-selling author known worldwide for showing how food can work like medicine. His research reveals how foods can fight disease, repair the body, and even slow aging and fight cancer. In my book, Eat to Beat Disease, I got it right here. Check it out if you haven't read it. I strongly recommend it, Eat to Beat Disease. It's got a lot of stuff in here about food doses and all the different kinds of foods that can activate your health defenses. To fight cancer, there's whole sections about um, cancer-fighting foods in there. To understand why Dr. Lee's research matters, we need to understand cancer stem cells. Traditional cancer research focused on tumor cells, the ones we can see, target, kill. But over the past two decades, scientists discovered a deeper layer hidden within tumors, a small population of master cells called cancer stem cells. These cells behave like the root system of a tumor. They can self-renew, meaning they can create new cancer cells, resist chemotherapy and radiation, stay dormant, then reactivate later, drive metastasis, which is cancer spreading, cause relapse even after treatment, Normal cancer cells are like the branches and leaves. Cancer stem cells are the roots. And if you don't kill the roots, the plant can grow back. Dr. William Lee's research focuses on how our diet can strengthen the body's natural defense systems, angiogenesis, regeneration, immunity, and the microbiome which can influence how cancer stem cells behave. This is not about curing cancer with food. It's about supporting the body's own biology in ways science is beginning to understand. Now let's discuss foods. Number one, purple potatoes. Purple potatoes, all right, the anthocyanins that make purple potatoes purple kills colon cancer stem cells. Purple potatoes are rich in anthocyanins, the same deep purple pigments found in blueberries. These compounds have been studied for their anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and anti-angiogenic effects. Laboratory research, not human clinical trials, suggests that extracts from purple potatoes may influence pathways involved in colon cancer stem cell behavior. Specifically, anthocyanins and chlorogenic acid in purple potatoes may help reduce inflammation, protect DNA, and interfere with survival signals that cancer stem cells rely on. Number two, green tea and coffee. Green tea kills cancer stem cells, so does coffee. Get your morning Joe, all right? That's actually good for cancer fighting. Green tea and coffee both contain bioactive compounds that have been studied for their potential effects on cancer stem cell pathways. Green tea is rich in EGCG, epigallocatechin gallate, a powerful antioxidant known for its anti-inflammatory and anti-angiogenic effects. Studies show EGCG may interfere with key survival pathways used by cancer stem cells, such as WINT, Notch, and Hedgehog, reducing their ability to self-renew and spread. It also helps protect healthy cells from oxidative damage, creating an environment less favorable for cancer stem cell growth. Coffee contains chlorogenic acids, cafe stall, and cahuiol, compounds with strong antioxidant and anti-inflammatory activity. Research indicates these compounds may reduce cancer stem cell viability, slow tumor growth signals, and support the body's natural detox and immune defenses. Number three, tree nuts. Tree nuts like walnuts can be really helpful. Walnuts are one of the most researched nuts for their potential anti-cancer properties, especially in relation to colon and breast cancer. They contain a powerful combination of omega-3 fatty acids, elagic acid, polyphenols, and antioxidants, all of which support the body's natural defenses. Laboratory studies suggest walnut compounds may influence cancer stem cell behavior by reducing inflammation, slowing cell proliferation, and affecting pathways cancer stem cells use for survival and self-renewal. Elagic acid and its metabolites, urolithins, are particularly notable. They help protect DNA, reduce oxidative stress, and support healthy gut bacteria, which plays a major role in colon health. While walnuts are not a cure, regularly including them in a balanced, plant-rich diet may support an internal environment that's less favorable for cancer stem cell activity. We know that a strong immune system can wipe out cancer cells too. So what are some immune-boosting foods that you can eat to beat cancer? 
immune-boosting foods help the body fight cancer by strengthening the systems that detect and eliminate abnormal cells. A strong immune system activates natural killer, NK cells, T cells, and macrophages, which can recognize and destroy emerging cancer cells before they grow or spread. Number four, broccoli sprouts. Broccoli sprouts, these are the three to four day old little baby broccolis. They powerfully stimulate your immune system. Broccoli sprouts, especially when they're about three, four days old, are incredibly rich in sulforaphane, a natural compound known for supporting immunity and offering potential anti-cancer benefits. Sulforaphane helps activate the body's RF2 pathway, which boosts the cell's own defense systems, improves detoxification, and helps calm long-term inflammation. All of these actions can make the immune system function more efficiently. Studies also suggest that sulforaphane may affect certain pathways linked to cancer stem cells, particularly in breast and colon cancer research models. It appears to make these cells less likely to survive, reduces their ability to multiply, and may encourage unhealthy or abnormal cells to undergo apoptosis, the body's built-in self-destruct process. Overall, broccoli sprouts offer a powerful combination of protective plant compounds that help support cellular health. Number five, blueberries. Blueberries, all right, a couple of blueberries will pop up your immune defenses so that you're more able to actually beat cancer. Blueberries may look small, but they're packed with immune-boosting power. Their rich antioxidants, especially vitamin C and anthocyanins, help calm inflammation, protect the body from harmful free radicals, and keep your immune cells working at their best. What makes them even more impressive is their potential impact on cancer. Studies suggest the polyphenols in blueberries can interfere with cancer stem cells, slowing their growth and even triggering their natural breakdown. By supporting cellular repair and reducing stress on the body, blueberries become more than just a tasty snack. They're a daily defense against illness and long-term disease. Number six, chili peppers. Chili peppers, they do that as well. Chili peppers do more than add heat. They boost the immune system thanks to high levels of vitamin C, beta carotene, and antioxidants that help reduce inflammation and support strong immune responses. Their active compound, capsaicin, has been widely studied for its potential anti-cancer effects. Research suggests capsaicin may target cancer stem cells by slowing their growth, blocking pathways that help tumors spread, and triggering apoptosis, the natural death of harmful cells. By improving circulation, supporting cellular defense, and reducing oxidative stress, chili peppers act as a fiery ally for immunity and may help the body fight against long-term disease. This video is for educational purposes only, not medical advice. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button because it really supports the channel. Subscribe for more science-backed health videos and drop a comment if you want a part two on foods that boost the immune system or fight cancer stem cells. Thanks for watching, and remember, your diet can be one of your greatest allies. Stay healthy, stay informed, and I'll see you in the next video.